Our first public worship service for River Oaks was held on March 21st, 1999. We began our church to be a place where people without a relationship with Jesus Christ could come and hear the gospel, grow in their faith, and then reach out to others. Since that time, we have seen the Lord do remarkable things, far more, I think, than any of us could have imagined at the time. We attended the first River Oaks service 19 and a half years ago. Um, we found this flyer in my old youth Bible. Um, this is the flyer that we got that, that our mom showed to us a couple weeks prior to attending and said, we're going to church. We went on several mission trips the, that first summer and um, it was actually 18 years ago that both of us were saved. We were saved at the same camp. Um, I was the first night and then Adam was the second night and it was just, um, it, there's no words to describe that feeling and to be together and to have both been saved was, was amazing. It definitely, definitely brought my sister and I closer together in those, those high school years, um, growing up, going to, going to church you know, every Sunday together and, and having those shared memories and youth. River Oaks was always there and we'd always come to church and it felt like home. We have been excited about coming to church every Sunday since River Oak started, and that's a tremendous blessing. I sense that people are more involved than just attending, and it stirs things within them that needs that they feel like it needs prayer about, and then they they are they are not slow about asking for that prayer. I really have a sense that. God is at work in our congregation and the Holy Spirit is present because when you walk in the doors you can feel the Spirit. And I hear these remarks from other people that, you know, confirm that what I feel that other people feel. And I just remember sitting in the service, I just felt the Holy Spirit just say, this is where you're supposed to be. It just felt like a place where um, people were just real and friendly. And I would just add to that. Um how easy it was to get connected to the church. I think in our within our first year here, David Beatty had invited us to his house with other young couples just to help us get connected in the church. Really about three years ago, uh, we had a strong need within our family uh, to be able to have some connection uh, with a group that would be a group of like-minded people, people that maybe were going through some of the same struggles, uh, that we were as a family. And we found a group here at River Oaks called uh, Parents for Prodigals. And it's a group where you have many parents with children that are going through various struggles, uh, be it addictions, uh, be it you know, trying to find spiritual meaning in their lives. When we joined the group, we thought we were the only people that were having issues because generally that's a private thing and you don't share that amongst other people, but there's a lot of people dealing with that. So joining the group, we certainly felt like um, we were with like-minded people and realized that it wasn't because we didn't love our child enough, obviously, or if we could have fixed it with money, we would have fixed it with money, but the, it brought us closer to God by being in this group and realizing that's who we needed to turn to. What I realized was I can't be in charge and I needed to turn that over to God. And we needed that in our family uh, because we weren't solving the issue uh, by maybe me trying to strong arm it, uh, but by turning it over to the Lord and allowing Him to help guide us through the process. I've been in a, a men's Bible study for about seven years. I was approached by David Beatty um, about joining, and it was at a time where I was wanting more. I was doing things, I was doing things here in the church, but I knew I was missing something and I was not um, maybe taking it upon myself to, to dive into the Bible like I should. We were going through a, a difficult time. We've, we've struggled with infertility and um, it was the year that we first really were discovering that we were having fertility problems. 
he and I had a lot going on already personally and just in our marriage. And, um, you know, when he joined Build, it was like he brought this whole new piece to our marriage. It was like, you know, it, it, he kept telling me, honey, just stop worrying. Just stop worrying. You know, the, the Lord has a plan for us. We opened up more about everything that we had going on. I mean, we were very open about it. And, you know, our child basically is a product of prayer. He is our miracle baby and um, he is a product of prayer. And, you know, we know that coming here and having our support from, from River Oaks, they are our support system. They are our prayer warriors. You know, we know that no matter what we um, come come here with, that we are going to be prayed for and loved, and um, that you know we aren't judged when we walk through the doors here. And um, you know, I I really can't imagine what our marriage would be like without being here. God has done wonderful things over the past 20 years, but I believe His greatest work is yet ahead for us. In the summer of 2017, our elders began prayerfully seeking the Lord about His vision for our future. The result of that time together is our Vision 2025. It is a discipleship-driven, outreach-focused vision for impacting the world. It will require more prayer of us, more reliance on the power of the Holy Spirit, and we believe it requires some changes to our building. That has given rise to what we call our Beyond Initiative. Well, at the heart of this initiative is the construction of a two-story discipleship center. A center that is going to allow us to equip followers of Jesus who are sent to reach others. And that's going to be exciting news for a lot of our groups and all of our members, I believe, who have spent much of the past several years meeting in Noah's Ark classes, in backstage storage areas, in front office space, anywhere we can find space. And so with this new space, we're going to have 12 classrooms on the top floor. These will be both adult and youth classrooms that will allow us to come together uh, and pursue the learning and the loving and the living out of God's Word. On the bottom floor, we'll be able to set up permanently for our weekly gatherings, as well as uh, the, the opportunity for uh, equipping and discipleship in various Sunday morning formats as well. And at the completion of the construction for the Discipleship Center, this will then allow us to remove the back walls of the sanctuary and expand the space for which we come to worship. One of the greatest assets at our church is the number of children that we get to meet and minister to each and every Sunday. And while they're in the Noah's Ark classrooms and in the Kids Rock Gym, we strive to help them build relationships and friendships and connections. But once the service ends and the children leave our classrooms and our gym, there's truly no place for our children to go to continue playing and building friendships. We hope that with this building campaign, we'll be able to build a space within our Noah's Ark area that will house an indoor playground that will allow our children to play in a safe environment, to continue building on their friendships and relationships. And we also plan to have space for the parents to congregate, to talk, to mingle with one another, and to continue building connections and relationships with others. For our older children, we plan to build an outdoor playground area that will have larger climbing structures for the older children to play on. Part of our Beyond campaign that we're doing includes our coffee bar. And the coffee bar has always been important to us. Even from the beginning, we've had a coffee bar called Common Grounds, and that's what it's still named today. And the reason for that is real simple. We wanted to have a place where we could meet people after the service and talk to them and get to know them and greet our guests. And it's so important that we continue to do that. So as, as part of the campaign, we want to give the coffee bar a facelift and make it more of an inviting place to connect with people, to use not only on Sunday, but throughout the week with many different groups and even students that want to come in and do homework. So it's a place of connection throughout the week. Beyond Our Walls is our commitment as a church to set aside 10% of the funds received through our capital campaign similar to what we've done with our general fund over the years, earmarked toward partnering with other groups outside of River Oaks in our community and throughout the world as an opportunity to invest in the spread of the gospel. It reflects the values of our church and the heart of Jesus. It makes me think of Jesus' final charge to us as he ascended into heaven, which was to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. 
What an honor and privilege it is to be part of the kingdom work of spreading the loving news of the gospel of Jesus Christ in our church, in our homes, in our community, and across the world. The estimated cost for these projects is $4.25 million, and we call this our Beyond Initiative because we believe these changes in our building will support the vision and take us beyond where we are so that we can fulfill our 2025 vision. We believe God will enable us to reach this goal if we each prayerfully consider how God would have us invest in this vision. There's never been a better time for the church in terms of the health, spiritually and physically. So for a group of people in Clemens and Louisville and Winston-Salem and the surrounding areas to come together and to commit together to making an investment in discipleship will have lasting impact, not only on individuals, but for generations to come. So this vision, in my mind, is not about buildings or budgets. This vision is a vision of spiritual formation. It's a vision of Christ being formed in us. It's a vision of where people are committing to create environments where biblical training at all ages can occur with excellence and with effectiveness so that children, young adults, and older adults can grow closer to God. And as they do, as they go deeper in God's Word, they'll go deeper in God's world. I love the excitement behind you know, Noah's Ark uh, and the children and, and the opportunity for them to learn more about the Bible. excited about um, small groups and, and teaching. I know with the West Building, the, the new discipleship building that will open up a lot of new space. And I think uh, we will find really good uses for in terms of um, just pouring into the members in terms of spiritual growth, so I'm very excited about that. The main thing that excites me about our church is our church's motives. Everything that we do in this church is prayed about, carefully thought out. We do what's needed to, to build up our church and take what we build outside of the walls of the church. It's just amazing to me Everything I believe is spirit-led that is done in this church. We've experienced this before with the first building. We prayed and the Lord supplied so much more than we could have ever imagined. It's hard not to get too emotional when you think about what the Lord has done here at River Oaks since that first campaign. So if He's done all that for the first, how much more? will he do for the second, it will be much more than we can imagine. So I just envision that in 2025, that our goals are gonna be met and surpassed because we've got a God that uh, is able to do much more than we ask or believe or seek. He blesses when we are obedient. And I think our leaders have been obedient in praying and seeking God about what we need. So as we pray for this, God's going to hear our prayers and they're going to ever be before Him and He's going to answer those prayers. On Sunday, November 4th, during our worship services, we'll ask everyone to make a faith commitment to our Beyond initiative. These three-year pledges will be over and above our regular giving and reflect what we believe God's called each of us to do in supporting this initiative. I invite you to join my wife Beth and me in praying about what your part your investment in this vision should be. May the Lord encourage you and guide you and build your faith in Him as you do that.